perfection. That word has the power over so many of our brains. It's like it controls us. We try to avoid the mirror in fear of seeing something that we don't want to see. So while we're brushing our teeth, we turn away. Just being aware that the mirror is in front of us. Our minds drift off, floating away to the ceiling, leaving our minds with words that drown us in feeling. It's like a flood. We fight and fight until one day our heart is too weak to try. Our hearts only have the energy to venture into our soul, finding new information to blur the reality of perfection that is already in you, that your mind and heart is so jealous of. We think we compare ourselves to other people, but really what we're looking for is perfection. But why? What is perfection to you? Is it a blue-eyed, blonde-haired girl, or does perfection not live in your eyes? Perfection is like a tall brick wall standing with away what we think will be our happiness one day. But why? Because we already are perfect. At least that's how I perceive it. The thoughts that our mind creates as are made from recent actions, words, and ideas. But the word thoughts is distinctive because we as humans let our thoughts change the way we feel. It's like a stream of words that overpower our brain cells to take over the way we live. Even though words are just sounds that we use to communicate our thoughts that can't describe you or change you. Because we are, as humans, are meant to be strong, are meant to feel loved, and that is within all of us. But it's all based on the way you view the words that can either tear you down or build you up the perspective on the way society makes is we all have to wear the same things. Your feelings are not valid and your size and shape are what defines you as a person. Now this is what we are teaching to kids as young as me and teenagers. This is getting embedded in our brains. It controls the way we think and feel and look and eventually all of us are gonna turn to robots. The same plain technology that keeps recurring until one day we get bored, so we move on to the next thing. Our souls have lost the only thing holding us together. Our love is completely gone. The thing that you once absolutely loved about someone is now gone because they got sucked into this colony of robots too. And everyone's the same. The same clothes, the same hair, the same personality. Today, we still see bits of diversity that are waiting to arise from this massive tribe of robots holding back the love. We only have a few years to protect every single on the planet, every single person on the planet to become the same as you and your friend that you used to love. This generation of hate has only one way of survival, and that is love. You choose the way your heart wants and needs to perceive life. Without seeing the love in yourself, nothing can change. Because you need that to see and hear and live in this world of negativity, which causes the sadness that lies each night in people's heart. I think you are perfect from the way you walk and talk and smile, from the way you show love, even if you don't realize you're expressing it. But perfection is all a way of interpretation. In my eyes, perfection is love being spread like a virus, increasing the positivity in which we need more of in this world. Perfection is a genuine smile on someone's face. But most of all, it's the flaws that create such perfect human beings. We look at flaws as imperfections and a variety of other things, which I am guilty of doing myself. <laughs> we look but really, they are blessings that create us as individuals, unique. We should love each other for each and every flaw, similarity, and difference, because there will never be another one of you. You are special. You are beautiful. You are perfect. Without you, the world would not be the same. I may be young, and I may not be worth listening to, but my voice has been heard. My love has been spread. Thank you for making my dreams possible.